the Wall Street culture has struck again and killed again. This story takes place, I guess not really in Wall Street, but in London for a Wall Street firm. Um, Bank of America, Merrill Lynch. Uh, and here's a story for you. So Bank of America Merrill Lynch has a seven-week intensive internship program. It's a pre-graduate program, um, and this particular, this, particular, this particular program is based in the London office of Bank of America. And Moritz Earnhardt um, was the graduate that we're talking about, the person that was in this pre-graduate program. And Mr. Earnhardt, in order to get all the work done in this crazy, crazy, intensive, greed-filled world, which is what Bank of America is, and if you don't believe that, check out how much, check out all check out all the fees they charge you to have a bank account at Bank of America. So in order for like them to get all the greed, you just gotta always be working. Clearly, this is what happened in this story. Mr. Earnhardt, um, and this is what some of his you know colleagues and some of his fellow interns said worked three all night shift, three overnighters till six a.m. And remember, he has to be work at nine, so stuff for three hours at home. Three in a row. After doing those three overnighters, he ended up having a seizure and was pronounced dead on the scene. Another example where this whole culture, this whole you know, Wall Street, banking, crazy, extreme work hours culture, and I've talked about this before. I remember specifically talking about this with an interview I did when I was filling in for Tom Hartman on the RT show, um, where we had this conversation about the Wall Street culture and how crazy it is and how deranged it is for you to work these ridiculous hours that are on, clearly not humanly possible, and they may result in death. Um, and Mr. Earnhardt is an example, and it's very sad that Mr. Earnhardt died. The university did release a statement um, about his death, indicating that he was a very warm person, he was open and a helpful young man, um, but sadly, he will not be returning um, to his home university uh, and beyond and the University of Michigan um, Rose Ross School of Business. He won't be returning there because he is no longer with us because greed, greed kills, clearly.